Hey y'all, let's check out Bright Diamonds Oasis. Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. We check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life, and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So y'all, this is what I got going on for my outfit today. Just something real quick and cute. Look how cute this little bear is on my little keychain. Super cute, right? These shoes are some shoes we've seen before. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we've seen these shoes before. So yeah, that's what we got going on. So y'all, this land is super cute. Ooh, look at what happens when you walk on the stars. It's sparkling like me. I love it. This land is super duper cute. Ooh, and it makes a little sound. I love that. So initially I had on pink, but as you can see, this land has a lot of pink on it. So we changed and we went with the yellow. So we are almost at 500 subscribers, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be putting a poll up soon on the community tab, but until then, um, I would love for you guys to give me some name suggestions just so that I can add them to the poll. I have some of my own, but this is definitely something that we are all a part of so i definitely want to consider all of the different name suggestions that you guys might have and then we can come together and pick one so this is super exciting something very very new that i honestly didn't even know that i would be coming up on um this quickly i'm so excited about it and so thankful for you guys for helping me build this beautiful community so these houses over here and over here they have labels on them so these are actually residences so you can um you can rent here which is beautiful because like what look at the surroundings what look at these clouds up here adorable this place is really cute and enchanted it's very very like pink and princessy and all of those things look at the little sleeping rabbit super duper cute oh i love it we saw this rabbit on the other land i think it was the one of the last videos i put a tag up but it was huge the bunny rabbit was huge what's over here so we'll just walk around a little bit i'm i'm trying to be mindful that they do have um private residences here so i don't want to be going on anyone's property and things like that they have this super cute little i don't want to say beach area but a little dock area where you can come and just chill out so they do have common spaces as well as um residential spaces if we come across um a house that is for rent we will definitely check it out everything in there looks so yummy the croissants are looking nice and soft then we have a sub baby you leave this out too long they, and they ain't gonna have to worry about finishing and somebody else gonna come and finish it one of those little bunnies or something look at this drink super cute i don't know is it like a strawberry flow I, I don't know what's going on here i don't know lots of little yummies in the cooler so yeah you guys i was sitting around i was thinking up names when i tell you i i came up with a couple but for the most part complete blank it was a complete blank and i was i was a little taken aback by that because in my mind i'm like yeah i have so many names but i think that that was just my sign that I really, really need you guys input on choosing a name. So if we can't like come up with something, I'll just go with like my favorite one. If I don't get like people giving suggestions and things like that, which is fine, which is fine. I won't come up with anything crazy or nothing like that. You guys will like it. So yeah, this space is so pretty. I love that all of the decorations coincide with the trees and things like that. Oh, it says a little garden party. So everything has nice pink pastels, very light teals and different colors like that. Look at the little swan and the babies. Oh, so cute. 
I love how even the lily pads they have incorporated. Oh, look at this chandelier. Oh, beautiful. This is so pretty. So like even the lily pads have that nice like pink pastel green teal on it the little froggy everything is very very specific to the space i love when lands do this look how cute this is the little fishy even the fish goes i feel like it's really really important to make sure that you're staying on brand with the things because a lot of times I have come to lands. I love these paper lanterns. A lot of times I'll come to lands and things will be like all over the place. Now I do understand that, you know, everybody decorates differently. But um, for me, um, when I go to lands, what I am looking for um, as far as me choosing a land to actually show you guys is something that is cohesive. And although I don't get to walk around the lands, it is one of those things where um, the first impression is very important. This is a super cute keyboard. So like when I walk around, I really, really enjoy seeing everything for the first time with y'all so for me i'm just like oh look at this little fit we don't get about this area because they got a lot going on over here and i'm just looking at everything um when i first land down that's like my first impression and so if it's looking a little wonky i don't spend a lot of time trying to figure it out you know what i'm saying i'm just like okay no this is not a space for us Fortunately, although I have not been doing this very long, I've been doing it long enough as to where, I want the deer to pop his little head up. I've been doing this long enough as to where once I land down, I could pretty much gauge um, whether or not this is gonna be like a, a nice land for us. Oh, I wanna walk over the bridge. Oh, look at this, super cute. So another thing I do do is I make sure that the land is, well, not really. I used to make sure that the land is like a large enough land to look around. But once I've learned that even the smaller lands, they'll make sure that they're nice and jam packed full of things. They're still very suitable for um, touring with you guys. I've seen this bridge before and I love it is so pretty i know it takes us back over to the other side that we just left off of but it's super cute and i just wanted to see it so they have a lot going on here um and i do like that especially in just such a small space i really like that since you can't go into a lot of the houses because they are residential spaces they give you a lot of things to look at along the way I love how on this land it has like a light enchanted feel to it and but for the most part everything is very like florally and just really pretty and dainty i really really like that it kind of gives you a feel of being enchanted but well we did see uh some unicorns so that's like thus far one of the only kind of enchanted aspects to it Everything else just feels very vibrant and just pretty. Lots of pretty things to look at. And we love pretty things to look at. Look at this cute bike. So cute with the little book stack on the back, tied up with the little pink ribbon. I love how they are constantly incorporating um, the colors in the objects in the land that is not as easy as some might, may think because you really have to shop around to make sure that things are going to be the right kind of colors because even though it's a lot of different pinks sometimes you can get one pink that's like a little too pink and then it kind of throws things off so it's not the easiest thing to do but when you know where to shop it, it makes it a lot easier oh look at these so pretty so we can't find a house to look at we are going to do like one of the no-nos that a lot of people say in second night we're gonna we're gonna pan in a house we're gonna pan in i just really want to see if the houses follow the decorations in the houses if they're even furnished if they follow um the theme of the land or if, or if it's just like an empty house and you just kind of got to do what you got to do on your own was this a little pastry card 
Everything is so pretty here. The pictures would be amazing as always. The pictures would be really, really nice. Y'all, side note, I went, ooh, this blueberry muffin looks so good. I went on the, what did I do? On the Black Dragon Viewer. Just I just wanted to see, you know, see some. And yeah, with this update, I, I still, I'm still preferring the Firestorm update over um, Black Dragon. I definitely can tell the difference between being in the Black Dragon Viewer and the Firestorm Viewer. Before it was a really big difference, but now for me, I feel like the difference is not that noticeable in my opinion. Yo, look how pretty all of this is. Super cute. Is this like a little slice of cake? It had, looks like it has some animations in it. You probably can sit on it. Look how cute this is. The little flower pods with the little one tooth, like little baby flower pods. And then they have these yummy chocolate covered strawberries. This is what I love. I love, love, love pretty things in real life as well as second life but second life specifically today so super cute look at the little teacups with the little fluffy bunny i love it these are the things that will have me like panning in on everything and it's like this is what i want to see i love it the little pastries here everything is so cute and pink you know, and I'm not a pink girly. I promise you I'm not. But Second Life, it does something to me. It really, truly does. I love things like this. All the pretty flowers. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if Fire, the Firestorm viewer has gotten a little easier to um, handle. I haven't heard a lot of people um, talking about it as much. So I'm curious if you are on the new Firestorm viewer, is it giving you issues? Are you okay with it now? Have they done something where an update wasn't necessary? This looks so yummy. And so it's making your experience a little bit better. Or is it one of those things where it's like, nah, they still need to fix this. Look how cute this is. He's dropping a little sugar cube. I've noticed that things now are rest in for me when I come to these spaces. It doesn't take a lot of time like it did initially with the first, uh, when I first got on with the new update. So I do like that. I don't know if it's just like my computer kind of getting acclimated to everything that's going on um, with the new viewer or what, but I appreciate it. So this little space is super cute for like a nice like tea party pictures and things like that. They have these little cake seats that are super adorable. I want to see the little chipmunk. I love the floral arches with the um, overlay fabric and things like that. Super nice. I love how initially when I dropped down, I was like, oh, this might just be a bunch of flowers everywhere. And I'm like, I wanted you guys to be able to see more than just a bunch of flowers. So I'm really, really glad that I gave it a chance. Cause sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll write things out for a little quickly um, when I'm looking for a space for us. If I come to a land and I just feel like the lighting is just all over the place, it makes me very hesitant to show you guys. And a lot of times those are just places that I say for myself, can I go in here? No, I feel like this is just a decor piece how cute though once again sticking with the color i love it look how pretty this is so pretty it's like a little lookout and there are little chairs over here but it's okay because i still explore you know even when we're not together you guys i do because this is something that i absolutely love to do i'm not just doing this for a video like just to be able to like tour around with you guys. It's something that I love, love, love doing with you guys, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Keeping it a thousand, I'm gonna do it anyway. So we're running long, y'all. Stay tuned for part two. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.